Hey, what's up with you guys? Today I'm going to speak about weak passwords, consequences, and best practices. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yaniv Hoffman. I am an IT professional and cybersecurity expert. My goal is to contribute from my experience to create a cybersecurity awareness. Let's start. So what is a weak password? A weak password is simply defined by a password that is easily guessed or judged by humans or computers. How do you measure its strength? It's actually the effectiveness against brute force attack or guessing. And it's the estimate how an attacker that doesn't have access to password, or how many trials this attacker will need to guess correctly the password. One thing that is important to understand is the strength of the password is a function of its length, complexity, and unpredictability. So the password system has been around in the internet since its inception. And in reality, it's a method to protect online information and variables. So passwords are a way to keep things private while they are online and not publicly visible. So since the time of its inception, passwords were underrated by normal users. The, the reason is that they never believed that someone can think about their uh, password, leak it or guess it without them disclosing it. And passwords are essentially the gateways into access to a private information. So we know that many of the cyber criminals today try to develop tools and techniques in order to, to achieve these uh, password or credentials. And that's the reason we see more and more data breaches and leak of information that at the end of the day was resulted from a credential theft. So a weak password is a short, common, default value or something that can be easily guessed. Examples of weak passwords include password, password123, admin, and etc. People use weak passwords only because they are easy to remember. But in doing so, they are keeping passwords that are also easy to guess. So weak password can be easily exploited by the hackers. And in fact, a lot of companies have faced serious consequences due to password data breaches. Common names and weak passwords give rise to exploited credential. A weak password can be the basis of compromised IT assets and other security controls like the antivirus or network protection and monitoring tool configuration exposure of sensitive data, like financial details, intellectual property, etc. How weak passwords can be cracked? So a weak password is a major vulnerability to the overall system and the company digital assets. So a weak password can be easily guessed or totally hacked if it contains either of the following content. The login credentials are same. In example, the password and the username are the same. The normal QWERTY keyboard patterns are used as passwords like ASDF, QWERTY, etc. Common dictionary words from English language are kept as passwords. Default passwords like guest is used as password or even password that come built in as default passwords. And last but not least, a reuse of password is done by the user. So in case one password is leaked or cracked, all the other user accounts of that user will be exposed. There are three types of basic attacks where weak passwords can be broken. 
First is dictionary attacks. With the use of common passwords, dictionary attacks can result in successful guessing of passwords. A few permutation and educated guesses are all you need for guessing the correct password. For example, replacing an S with a dollar character, and etc. The second is brute force attacks. Weak passwords can be cracked with the help of password cracking software. Brute force is an hacking technique used to find out user credentials. The credentials are guessed using the trial and error method. For this attack to be carried out successfully, a username list and a password list needs to be there. There are many tools used to carry out brute force attacks, like Metasploit, Hashcat, John the Ripper, WFuzz, and more. Last but not least is phishing attack. And phishing is a method of trying to gather personal information using deceptive emails and websites. If you want to gather more information about phishing attacks, please click below on the link on a video that I did about ransomware. So here are my takeaways and recommendations for better password protection. Takeaway one, never use easy information for passwords. Easy passwords are easier to guess. One good point to note that these days, with new technologies and latest algorithms in place, making it easy to crack an easy password. Takeaway two, use longer farces than use many unique characters. In some studies, it is seen that keeping a long character's password is hard to guess than keeping a short but full of odd character password. For example, I love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a tough password than Charlie $8. Takeaway three, Use unique password for every account. This is another key takeaway. Keeping one password for all user accounts from PayPal to Amazon to Gmail and bank account is a big no. For best security, it is best to keep a separate password for all user account. Takeaway four, use a password manager. Like password cracking tools are there, the good guys on the web have also come up with solutions like password managers. These are tools to manage credential in a secure manner. So you can ask me, Yaniv, but is it enough? And definitely in security, it's never enough. But one thing I do want to add on top of these four takeaways, and this system is called MFA, multi-factor authentication. And definitely this is something I recommend everyone to add on top of their current passwords. In this technique, the authentication is performed in a combination of factors like password and biometrics, or password and face recognition, password and voice authentication, and so on. If one of the authentication fails, the user is no longer granted access. So in order to get your hands on the assets, it is important to authenticate in all of these methods. Remember, strong password is the first line of defense against any potential intruder. Adding multi-factor authentication strengthens even more the, the password by adding additional layers of protection. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something. If you want to see more of such content, please Give your feedback in the below description and I will be more than happy to, to address. And I will appreciate if you can like and subscribe as it will help me to produce more videos and bring it to you very fast. Thank you very much. Until the next time. Bye.